This is the number one mistake I see people making when using Trello. And more importantly, how to make sure that you are not making it. But before we dive into this topic, make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and ring that little notification bell so that you never miss a tutorial or upload. You might be surprised to learn that this number one mistake is not technical at all. It has nothing to do with how you set up your Trello boards or whether you use automation or any of that. What it honestly comes down to is not recognizing the need to build your habit of going into Trello daily. You can set up the most beautiful Trello workspace with the perfect boards set up exactly how you want them, exactly the way that your brain works. But if you don't build the habit of starting your day with Trello and going to Trello as that source of truth in your business and honestly in your life, then it makes no difference how you've set it up. You just won't use it. So how do you avoid making this super simple mistake? Well, the answer is simple too. You start by building the habit. If Trello is new to you and you want to make sure that it actually has the impact that you're hoping for, or you've been trying to use it for a while and it isn't quite sticking, either you start out really good and then you completely forget about it and then months go by and you realize you haven't been in your Trello at all, or maybe you're just struggling to even get into the system. Honestly, as simple as it sounds, the best thing that you can do is just create an initial habit of opening Trello first thing in the morning. Now, let me backtrack for a second. When I say first thing in the morning, I don't necessarily mean before your morning routine. I have incorporated Trello even into my personal morning routine. And honestly, it just makes Trello that much more impactful for me. It makes it that much more beneficial in my business because I am so used to that being my source of truth that being where my information lies, where my to-do list, where all of that stuff lies, which is why I have all the different boards and templates that I have shared with you on this channel over the course of the last year and a half, two years. And I'll make sure that I'm linking to all of those templates for you here on this video. But the most important thing is just building that muscle memory, building that daily non-negotiable of going into the system and seeing what it tells you. So my personal opinion, I know a lot of people are reticent to put another app on their phone. They prefer email notifications and all of that. I understand, and I'm not saying don't use email notifications. But in my personal experience, we check our phones far more often than we check our computers. And if you don't put the tool that you want to have as the framework and the backbone of your business, in your hands, in your mobile device, then chances are it's not going to be very impactful for you. You're not going to use it the way that you are intending to use it. So my number one recommendation would be just get the app on your phone, turn on those notifications, and allow those Trello reminders to do their job. They will only pop up at you when you have set them up to do so, okay? They are not going to just annoy you with notifications. I have never once, and I've used Trello for a long time, guys. I have never once seen a Trello notification on my phone that I did not specifically set up. This is not the kind of app that is going to annoy you and ping you all over the place. So my suggestion to you is download the app on your phone. And the very first thing you should do for a good couple of weeks, if not a full month, set up a notification that every single day, and yes, I do mean every single day, even on weekends or days that you're not working in your business. At least at first, every single day, have a reminder that pops up on your phone that just says, open Trello. It's that simple. It doesn't need to be some major task that you're then going to do, but you need to start training your brain to react to those notifications, to act on them immediately by opening the app right away and seeing what it is that you were reminding yourself to do. By training yourself to do that on something so simple as literally just opening the app real quick and then closing it, it will become more and more second nature for you to react to those notifications in that way. There are plenty of ways that you can then build on that once that habit is starting to grow for you and it's becoming second nature for you to go to Trello every single day. And I also wanna point out that I realized that in the future, 
some of these notifications may pop up and you may not have the time to do that thing at that exact moment. There are ways that you can deal with that. You can leave the notification sitting there as a reminder for you. You can reset that due date with a later time in the day so that it will pop up at you again. Or you can make use of some automation I showed you guys recently in a video, which I will link above, where you create snooze buttons for yourself. And you can make them for, you know, an hour, five hours, a day, a week, a month, whatever frequencies you think would be most helpful for you. You can create those snooze buttons for yourself so that you can still keep that habit of responding to the notification, even if you don't have time for the actual activity. That's down the line, though. First things first, we're going to focus just on building that habit of seeing that notification, opening the app, and doing that every single day. The online tools for your business do not need to be complicated and overwhelming, guys. It's time to let it be easy.